Hello there everybody, this is Mando Studios and today I'll be showing you some LEGO uh, Luke Skywalker minifigures. I've got one appearance of Luke from every single film he's in. I just included all the sequel films as one, one appearance. Uh, cause I don't really count counts episode 7, 8 and 9 as appearances, but episode 8 is his only really apparent, real appearance. And I got him from episode 4, episode 5 and episode 6. Now before I begin, I want to say that I need people to subscribe as I'm entering the one year anniversary of this channel uh, on the new year of 2021 so let's try and get to 300 subscribers by the time 2021 comes so we just got under a week let's get as many subscribers as possible that would be great anyway let's start off let's start with the video so we've got Tatooine Luke, Bespin Luke, um, Return of the Jedi Luke and just sequel Luke um, this figure's new, I just got him, I really like it, um, Vespin Luke, he's got really good details, you can see on his face that he's just found out that Darth Vader is his father, very sad, he's got bruising on his face, so this figure was actually, is actually a very rare figure, but recently it became a bit more available, he's just got a neutral face on the other side, but he's got some really nice, uh, printing, and some nice leg printing, um, usually Lego, they just like to, Especially with Star Wars figures, they like to skip out on leg printing. But three of these four figures actually had a good job with leg printing. Which brings me on to this Luke figure. Now I actually swapped out the... Uh, this figure usually had plain black legs, but I swapped them out for legs with printing. Um, this is an okay figure. I really like Luke from Episode 6, but the figure is just, just a bit average. He's using the old Star Wars hairpiece that's been around, I think, since the very beginning. I don't think it's the most accurate, I think there's some better hair pieces LEGO could have used, but they haven't changed it to this day. They always give him plain black legs, but I obviously swapped that out. Um, the torso is good, the torso is quite accurate. And the head, the head's the same as the episode 4 Luke, so it'd be nice if we could get a different expression. Now, I'm just sort of jumping around from the figures, but going to the Tatooine Luke. This figure, I I'd be surprised you don't have this figure in your collection, everyone has a Tatooine Luke now. He came in like four different sets in 2020, I believe, maybe more, because um, he came in the Obi Wan Hut and the Luke's Land Speeder, which both released at the same time. So two sets in one wave with the same figure. Um, but Tatooine Luke, he's just he's just the OG. He's cool. Um, the hair piece. There's been a bit of con con controversy about the color of Luke's hair because you can see this is a different color to that. But Mark Hamill's hair color doesn't change between the films. But when Luke's on Tatooine, his hair looks lighter, so Lego use a lighter hair piece. So just a just a thing that I like to think about. Um, and then the last figure here is Octu Luke. This came from Octu Island Training and it's a very cool minifigure. I actually really like this figure, even though I don't really like Luke much in the sequel trilogy. I really like the figure he Lego made for him. He has this really nice golden coloured cape, which is very wide. And it was the introduction of this new hair piece, which I think is really useful. And yeah, I just really like this figure. So overall, I re these are some of my favourite Lego figures. Uh, Luke's my second favourite Star Wars character and yeah I hope you enjoyed looking at this showcase and remember this is the way and remember let's try and reach to get 300 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.